Hey guys, it's Mike and you're watching That's Cool Vintage Collectibles and with spring training coming to a close and the Major League Baseball season about to start, I thought I'd share some recent baseball pickups that I've added to my collection. Stay tuned. Well, the first pickup I uh, have recently landed was these uh, unpublished photos and these are all from Exhibition Stadium in Toronto and they're all pictures of baseball games and players from the 80s but they're all stars and Hall of Famers so uh, I'll turn this stack around and show them to you. Well these are all original photos taken at uh, Exhibition Stadium in Toronto. We have Greg Lazinski, a few of these and they're all unpublished just fan photos. Rod Carew, a bunch of Rod. Great shots. This is Nolan Ryan warming up in the bullpen prior to the game. Great shots. Look at that one. Fantastic. So a bunch of Nolan getting ready for the game. A lot of Nolan. Carlton Fisk in those classic uh, White Sox uniforms. White Sox had some beauties in the 80s, didn't they? Remember the shorts? Uh, that one's a bit blurry, but Fisk. And that one behind the plate, a bit blurry. Uh, Robin Yount. George Brett, that one, I'm not sure, but I believe that's Buck Martinez behind the plate for the Blue Jays. Another George Brett, that's a great George Brett. Get a hold of that one, great shot there. These are just, a uh, guy took these photos just seated on the first baseline throughout the game, but um, I think they're pretty cool. This is Eddie Murray, Baltimore, before the game. And I guess that's Lloyd Mosby, I think. But just a great stack of unpublished photos from a bygone era of baseball. Another item I picked up was this 1979 Cincinnati Reds National League Western Division Champs pennant. And uh, I just thought this was really cool. And the price was certainly right. And I just and I just love old baseball stuff. This is pretty cool. When you look at the lineup on this, it's real good. And such a good squad. Pretty cool item. I'm happy to add that one to the collection. Love vintage baseball stuff like this. I also picked up a small stack of baseball cards. This is uh, last year's uh, Topps Holiday and Anthony Volpe rookie card. And I'm being a big Yankee fan, I picked that up. Although I am transitioning out of uh, modern cards, I thought this was pretty interesting. Uh, next step, try to get this camera to hold a little more still. Next step is a 68... Bob Gibson. These are all ungraded, but uh, in good condition, that one. That was a pretty cool card. Um, this is an early Enos Slaughter card. Not early for him, but uh, then we have a 66 Sandy Koufax. This one's not in the greatest shape, but anytime you can find a Koufax card is kind of a good day. And a 69 Brooks Robinson. And again, that one's in pretty good shape, too. So I was happy to find those. Well, the last item I'm going to show you today is another baseball card. I just want to give you a little background on why this is significant to me. Um, as a young kid growing up, um, even though I lived near Toronto, I was a uh, longtime New York Yankees fan. And I, I really like all baseball teams, but I, I really enjoy the Yankees. And I like the history of the Yankees a lot. And in grade eight, I was given a book called The Mick about Mickey Mantle. And I read that book, and that was it. I was, I was just gone. And... Uh, 
you know, I think Mantle is one of the greatest, if not the greatest baseball player to ever play. I, I just think if he played anywhere else but New York, he would have shattered home run records of that time and everything else. It just, uh, he, he was uh, the best and played hurt. And if his legs had been better, you know, who knows what he would have done. He, he just really was the ultimate baseball player, in my opinion, and a switch hitter and just, just phenomenal. And, um, uh, you know, it's weird that I connected like that with a player who played before I was born. But for some reason, I just was really fascinated by the career of uh, Mantle and the way he played the game. And, you know, thankfully, there was footage for me to watch and things like that to know what that was all about. But uh, uh, as a baseball card collector in the 80s and early 90s, um, Mantle cards were not anywhere near what I could be, <laughs> you know, as a kid. Uh, involved with and you know not much has changed <laughs> to be honest but uh, I did find a card last week and it's not in the best shape and it's kind of not really even a real mantle card in a way but it's from the 65 top set mantles clutch home run uh, from the World Series and uh, even though this is kind of a, a B level card of mantles it's my first mantle card after returning to the hobby in 2021 and I'm so happy to have it. So I was one of the guys who, who got back in during COVID and got back in during lockdowns when I rediscovered my cards and, and, you know, things like that out of pure boredom and really just thought, well, you know, maybe I'll have another go at this and, and see what I can do. And I, it's something I've enjoyed just on the side. Uh, obviously on this channel, you're going to get more um, rock and roll and vinyl records and uh, things like that than sports memorabilia, but once in a while I do like to pick that stuff up and um, It's it's just something I enjoy but uh, Mickey Mantle stuff to me is very sentimental and and um, For whatever reason I just really like it I relate to it So it's something I'm, I'm more and more on the lookout for and something I'd like to acquire uh, Being in in Canada where I am. It's harder to find uh, there wasn't as much produced up here as in the US so for me, it's a little harder to just come across this stuff without buying it online. And online, you're always up against bidders and things like that. It's a lot harder. Um, there's not card shows up here very often that you, you come across a, a case of mantle stuff in it. It's just not as common. So I was very happy to find this. It, it really did make my day. And uh, one that I'm, I'm really happy to add to the collection. Even though, as I say, it's not one of his standard issue cards. It's still a mantle card. And uh, I'm really pleased to have that. I hope you enjoyed that uh, look at a few quick pickups I got this week. Um, you, you know, sports memorabilia is not something that gets featured all the time on this channel. And uh, I, I do feature a lot of records and rock and roll and things like that, uh, guitars as well. But uh, on the side, I like to do and dabble a little bit in sports memorabilia and sports cards. Uh, but if you're looking for guys who do that more full time, um, there's some great channels out there. Uh, Geez Mikey has been a supporter of my channel, and he's got a great channel about uh, vintage baseball stuff. Um, uh, uh, Return to Collecting Darren has a great channel about some vintage stuff as well, and Billy Ballgame. Uh, and, and they're great guys, and they're all um, you know collectors, true collectors at heart, and they're in it for the right reasons. So those are the type of guys that I tend to gravitate to to watch. So I just thought I'd give them a shout out because they've been supportive to my channel. And uh, my channel's fairly new, so I, I'm really happy that they found me and uh, that, um, you know, it seems like they've got some stuff going on on theirs that's uh, pretty cool. So I just wanted to give them a shout out uh, from my end. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a great thing to find uh, hobbies within your hobby. And if you enjoy collecting, I love uh, diversifying into other things. And, uh, you know, when you go out looking for stuff, it's nice to have more than one thing to look for. You know, it's kind of nice to be... Um, collecting things that just seem to hit you in a certain way and, and that's that's what it does for me it's just it's a memory or a, a response to something that's inside me that I really like so there you go I hope you enjoyed that and uh, please like and subscribe the channel's fairly new as I said but uh, we're starting to get going and I hope you enjoyed so far keep on collecting